Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Do you remember the last time you defragged your disc? Do you even know what defrag is? Do you even know what a disc is? Well, okay, this is one of the world's oldest utilities in terms of disk management in relation to operating systems. Uh, your computer most likely has something called a hard drive in it, and upon the hard drive sits data. Everything that your computer has or can access is sitting on your hard drive. Your files, your operating system, everything is right there. And most operating systems, uh, you know, have a certain kind of pattern that they follow in writing data to that disk drive. So when you save a photo, when you copy a photo, say, from your digital camera over to the hard drive, well, it's got to put it somewhere, and sometimes it just puts it willy-nilly. It doesn't necessarily put it there to op in, in the most optimal place. So a defrag utility, likely what Windows ships with automatically, uh, will go through periodically and clean up the disk uh, and, in some cases, optimize it, uh, and in some cases, just make sure that you're getting the most or at least Windows is getting the most out of that disk in that the files aren't completely fragmented in this space on your drive, in this space on your drive, in this space on your drive, which that can happen to files. And the defrag utility will defrag. It'll put uh, the files or assemble the files in order or at least put them together in the same space on your disk. Uh, I've always recommended Disk Keeper, uh, which if you already use Windows XP or Windows Vista, you've got a very, very dumbed down version of Disk Keeper. Uh, Disk Keeper from Executive Software is definitely worth all the money that you could spend on it. Uh, it is a power tool, constantly optimizing in the background, making sure that your disk is running as fast as possible, and Windows is running as fast as possible, and your files stay optimized. We have a couple of questions, so it's kind of a double header here, and this is the reason why I bring up the idea of defragging. From Nick on YouTube, I'd like to know if defrag is more likely to cause problems if it's done several times. In other words, does this operation, defragging, of moving things on the disk drive more likely to cause minor bugs since the data is taken from point A to point B? And Nick, um, you know, as long as you're not defragging uh, when you don't need to defrag, Windows will tell you, no, there are no fragmented files on your hard drive, nothing needs to be optimized. Uh, you, there really is no such thing as too much defragging. You can only defrag until the files are no longer fragmented. At that point, it can't do anything. Um, you know, in terms of running something constantly, the worst thing you could do is run something every hour if it doesn't need to be optimized. This I will go back to, and I realize this is a, it is a shameless plug, but there, I have yet to find, I know other people are probably mentioning other uh, defragging utilities, but in my mind, I've got it running on this system, uh, executive uh, software's disk keeper. Um, they've got all sorts of versions, uh, from a basic version to an advanced version. Uh, and I, now I should probably send them the link to this video, and they'll be very happy to run it. Well, it is a ringing endorsement because it is... It, it just does things in the background. You just don't worry about it. And that's the idea of a good defragging utility is that you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you could stick with the defrag utility in Windows and, and most likely uh, be fine. This is how you get to it, by the way, before I forget. Right-click the computer icon, my computer. Go to Manage, and this will pop up a, what might be familiar uh, management console. And then what you do is in the storage section, subsection. Well, I happen to have Disk Keeper installed. It would be a, a different label down there, but it's essentially going to be under the storage section in the list. Uh, this happens to be, and you're, you don't have a close-up shot of it right now, but this happens to be Disk Keeper 2007, and it's an, it can analyze uh, to see if I need to be defragged. It's got a history showing me how much optimization, how many fragments. It's got a log. Uh, it, it even shows me how much it's optimized and how much it's sped up just by running the utility in the background and not having to worry about it. Uh, I wouldn't worry as long as you're not running defrag whenever you, f you know, just every five minutes. That's crazy. There's no need to do that. Uh, once a week, if it's not doing it manually already, or I'm sorry, if it's not doing it automatically, manually defragging once a week should be fine. And, you know, even if you go once a month, you'd be just as good. Depends on how much you do on your hard drive. Uh, if, if you work with larger files or if you work with smaller files, if you really don't work with a lot of files at all, um, you know, all these factors play into how good is good uh, in terms of a, a time between defragmentation of the hard drive. Then uh, I'm going to extend it a little further since this is also related. We're just going to make this the one-stop shop for defrag questions apparently. Simon in the UK also asked this question by YouTube. Anyway, my question is about defragging the hard drive. 
We've talked about how often we should format our drives, but how often should we defrag? Is the window defrag utility competent enough, or the software alternatives the route to go? What is your opinion on this? Well, we've kind of answered some of those uh, questions already, but in terms of software alternatives, uh, this is where I'm going to toss it out to the audience. I've got my favorite. There are people in the chat room that are mentioning their favorites as far as third-party utilities for disk defragmentation utilities. What do you like to use, if you use anything at all? And I'm also going to extend this question to not just talk about defragmentation on Windows, but specifically on OS X, uh, because just about every computer has got a hard drive, except for some computers. Remember this one here. Oh, hang on. Just, ow, just a second. Uh, this computer, remember unboxing the Zonbu? This is a green PC. It doesn't have a hard drive in it. Although, that being said, uh, it does use a compact flash, so the files are still written to media, despite it not having any moving parts. It's a solid state disk. This is actually, well, whether it's this or not, solid state media or memory, in some cases, is the future of uh, operating systems in many ways. Uh, no moving parts, uh, because number one, it's faster, you can reach higher capacities, and certainly is a lot more stable than anything that does have moving parts. But even files that are written to media that doesn't have any moving parts, even if it may not be a hard drive, the files on that drive or on that disk can still get fragmented. That's just kind of the, the nature of the beast, and there's really no way to get around it right now. It's uh, unfortunately the, the way it kind of goes. So for the foreseeable future, you're still going to have to rely on a disk defragmentation utility no matter what operating system you use. I'm looking for other options. What do you guys think? Those darn files. Amen to that. <laughs> Mr. Guest. All right, leave a comment, follow-up response. Love to hear your thoughts, what you like to recommend for your friends and family members. And of course, if you want to talk shop, maybe you've got some defrag tips you want to share, post them. Or swing by the chat room, we're here. As they're getting used to it now. They know when I'm, I'm winding these videos down. That's right, live.perillo.com.